Hello, 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 there we go. Hi, uh, welcome to planet Earth again, everyone. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'll talk about what part of planet Earth I'm in at the moment. You, uh, in a moment, you might. You might be able to tell from what's written there. I can't really see it. It's in here and the, the words on my monitor are too far away. Uh, but I did say in the chat earlier um, that I was a little bit delayed and I'll tell you why in the chat. Uh, and it's not because they've announced a Far Cry 6 uh, gameplay reveal on Friday. It was because about half an hour, 45 minutes ago, I heard a big thud outside my uh, office and um, a, uh, a, a great tit, I don't know if you can see that very well, a, uh, a little great tit, I think it's keying the bird's colours out, but a great tit flew into my window and landed on the, uh, the garage roof just outside my window. And uh, when I looked out, it was like beak was open and its head was lolling around and I was like, oh shit, that bird is gonna die. Um, but I kept an eye on it and um, it literally just flew off about five minutes ago. So it, it took about half an hour to, to chill out and um, get back to normal. But nature is healing and it is off and, um, and it, it's gone back to nature now after having a brief um, meeting with my window panes and my garage roof. So yeah, at first I really thought it was going to... When I looked out the window and its head was like lolling back and it was like, ah, I was like, oh fuck gonna have to climb up on my garage roof and take a dead bird off it but um, it was just super like it proper like hit its head and was like no oh uh, but it's fine now it's fine now it's flown off um, and it's all good uh, so yes let's bring the world back to uh, normal and for those of you who guessed Chernobyl you are Correct, um, me and uh, my wife, we finally uh, got round to watching Chernobyl uh, at the weekend. Uh, very good show, quite scary. Um, but um, I figured, let's see if uh, Chernobyl has been 3D mod uh, modelled. It hasn't, but some people, some brave people have been there with, um, with cameras, quite high resolution cameras. By the looks of things, that is the containment dome over the old Chernobyl nuclear reactor right there. Um, I don't know if an actual person has been here to take this photo or if this is a drone shot. Because there's no no um, shadow of a tripod or anything. And I, I'm pretty sure getting close, this close to uh, the nuclear reactor in Chernobyl is a bad idea. But... I kind of just wanted to see what um, what the deal was um, and whether we could check out some of the uh, the the areas. Are Holy shit! This is is this Chernobyl? It, wow! As if they got this close. I believe that is the uh, the containment um, building, anyway. I couldn't see because um, the it it's actually says Chernobyl when you type it in is right over here, but I couldn't see anything that looked power planties. So then I flew over here, and um, this bit here looks like the big dome that they built over the top of it. Um, but yeah, I just wondered, you know, how how close people have got with cameras and things. I mean, this is definitely old um, rusted Chernobyl vehicles and concrete and stuff. 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Um, which is like Pri Pripyat, isn't it? Um, uh, where else can we see? So there's this. Looks like the trees are doing alright. I wouldn't want to eat any fruit off them. Yeah, I just figured uh, it'd be quite interesting to see what uh, what, what Chernobyl looks like from uh, uh, from Google um, Earth VR. There's a lot of cars. I don't know if they're actually driving super close 
or if they're old abandoned ones. They're actually, well, that's just parked up. Some people do do tours around Chernobyl, but I really, I honestly didn't think they'd get that close to um, the reactor. I presume that's the reactor dome over there. I couldn't see anything else that looked like a reactor dome. And Actually, that, maybe this is as far as they're allowed to go because there's nothing connecting there. Yeah, so this is, uh, if you're not familiar, and welcome everyone, uh, this is um, visiting my viewers in Google Earth VR. Uh, the way this works is that you um, tell me where you live, not the exact house number or street, just the area, like the town or whatever. And then um, I, uh, I go there and I check it out. Um, Kate Lilly says, oh, you're so kind to the little titties of the world. Yeah, it was a great tit. It was an absolute tit to have flown into my window, but um, never mind. Oh, and uh, uh, by the way, uh, check out my uh, uh, Here's Bundy t-shirt. We've got some um, we got some exciting merch on the way soon. And one, one in particular I'm very excited for. I can't talk about any of it yet, but uh, yeah, Eurogamer merch is leveling up quite rapidly uh, now. A lot of these t-shirts are limited edition. Uh, they, they, they do a run of like a hundred and then they, uh, they all sell out. But um, <coughs> yeah, there's, there's a very e and &E one coming soon. Uh, Palmer7189 has done a super chat saying, Visit Borton on the Water to take in Birdland and see if you can find where Brum lives. Doubt it'll be 3D modelled though. Okay, I can do that. I can go to um, I can go to Borton on the Water um, and check that out. I just wanted to find the um, what I wanted to do before I did that was um, find the Uh, the, the the Ferris wheel, the famous Ferris wheel that you see in all the videos, and oh, so yeah, Pripyat was well close. I didn't realise how close Pripyat was to uh, the reactor. Uh, so yeah, Pripyat. Um, is this Pripyat here? Where on earth would the Ferris wheel be, though? It's very hard to tell where things are when it's all flat. Uh, maybe I can see from here. So that look, there's the reactor over there. This is a drone shot. Oh, this is... There it is. I'm right above it. I found it. That was easy. So I'm... This is a drone shot of, uh, of, of Pripyat. That's... Um, I think that might be the school of the swimming pool? That you go through in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. You go like through there and up through there, and I think you have to climb up one of these hotels to snipe Imram, Z Imram Zakayev or whatever his name was. And then you, ooh, you have the final shootout just here before you get extracted. Is there any uh, any other? Oh, here we go. And here's uh, his Pripyat in the snow. Just, just deserted and crumbling. It's such, so, so weird. Um, so yeah, that, that's, oh, what's this? Oh, oh, damn it. Here we go. Inside, uh, inside a building in Chernobyl. Look at that, it's just, it's not much left now. Everything's rotted. Rotted away. I presume it's all rotted away and smashed and just been destroyed through weather rather than people coming here and um, and like rent, like stealing bits and bobs that are going to be super radioactive. This is taken by Gamma Travel. Definitely not the safest of travel companies, I'd say. Um, so yeah, that's a quick look at Chernobyl to start off. And now we're going to go check out Borton on the Water. Borton? Bo is that how you spell Borton on the Water. Cheltenham. 
And that was for this is for Palmer seven one eight nine. He's done a lovely super chat. Thank you uh, for the super chat, uh, Palmer. Let's go. Let's see. Upper Slaughter's close to Borton on the Water. No, I don't know where Bird Birdland is. Is Borton on the Water 3D? It's not 3Dified, unfortunately. If I was a Birdland, where would I where would I be? What was it what did he call it? Birdworld. Birdingtons. Birdland. Let's see if I can actually find. Oh, have a look at. We'll have a look at Borton on the Waters, chestnuts. Oh, oh, this is a pretty little picturesque little town. The Dial House you can actually go in there and have some beers now. Finally, the gift times. This is a, this is ultra um, ultra pretty English village. Oh, yeah, look at this. Very nice. Well, I can see why it's called Burton on the Water. Oh, why don't we just follow the signs to Birdland and see if we can find it. Oh, I'd like to go to Burton on the Water. There's some nice pubs and things here. Looks very pretty. Let's follow the signs, see if we can get to Birdland. There's the feds. The Cornish Bakery. Oh, this is very upper class. This is, I, I guess this is the kind of sort of place that people imagine when they think of England, rather than Swindon. I hope they think of this sort of place when they think of England <laughs> rather than Swindon. Anyway. Okay. Birdland, this way. The old new inn. There's a lot of old pubs here. I'm actually. There's a model village. Can I go to the model village? I'm actually gagging to go on some kind of like pub crawl now. It'd be awesome. There's Birdland. I found Birdland, everyone. Can we go inside Birdland, though? This is Birdland here. The maze. Wait, that must be the entrance to Birdland. Are there any... Oh, here we go. Yay! We're in Birdland! That guy's wearing jorts! Yeah! Loving the blue. The completely blue outfit there, jortsman. Excellent. There. Not too many photos inside Birdland, but there are some flamingos. Having a lovely little paddle. That's nice. Um, any more areas? I guess this is all bird land as well. What's this here? Oh. Hey, turtles! I like turtles! That's an actual bird. Um, any more spots? Oh, is this bird land? Oh, there's some more flamingos. Yeah, this must be Birdland 2. Birdland 2. Birdland as well. Not Birdland 2, the sequel to Birdland. The Birdlandening. The Birdening. What about this one here? Oh, yeah. Ooh! What is that? Is that a, her a heron, maybe? I don't know. There's penguins! Penguins! Love me a penguin. I'd like to steal a penguin. I mean, I'd like to have a penguin as a pet. I definitely wouldn't steal a penguin. I'd steal a penguin. No one knows. I could totally steal a penguin. They can't run very fast. And look, the water's well shallow. Get one of them in a backpack and fuck off. Be sweet. So, that was Burton on the Water and a little bit of uh, Birdland. So, thanks for suggesting that. Um, Palmer 7189 very nice uh, I enjoyed visiting that uh, we also had a super chat from Jomo99 he says Walton in Liverpool Merseyside I can show you the church where Ele Eleanor Rigby's grave is if I'm not having my tea 
Liverpool, Merseyside, or what, what was it? Woolton. Okay, so the beautiful town of Bolton on the Water in Cheltenham, which is smack bang in the middle of, uh, of, of England there. But a nice place to visit by the looks of things. Okay, Woolton next. Woolton. Liverpool. Was there anything else specifically there? Just that allegedly there might be a church somewhere. Is this 3D modelled? It is 3D modelled. So we can go... The good thing about the 3D models, right, people, is we can be like, look at me. I'm the god! I'm above the planet. And then you can just go... You go right down, you go... No, I'm person-sized! And now I'm looking at Sainsbury. Now I'm in Sainsbury's. I don't think that's where Eleanor Rigby was uh, buried, but uh, you can see all the houses. It's, it's quite impressive how, like, you know, every, even though some of it's all a, a little bit jumbled and higgledy piggledy, the fact that it manages to, like, 3D model even the chimneys on the houses and, and the the cars, the individual vehicles and things. It's very impressive. Right. Can I see a church? Is that a church? This looks like a church. Um, this, if, um, if I had to guess, this is where Eleanor Rigby is buried in this church here. Let's have a look. St. Peter's Church, Commonwealth War Graves. Can we go inside the grounds, maybe? I don't know if uh, Eleanor Rigby's buried in there, maybe. There's a lot of graves there, but... Can't seem to be able to climb inside and take a look. Oh, hold on, though. Who's this guy? Is this... Is this... Is this where Eleanor Rigby's buried, perhaps? Is that why there's a, a couple of people stood here in high resolution? That's Anne something. I don't know. In loving memory of Walter. Hmm. So maybe there's some other grave plots that they've taken their... Um, 3D camera to for some bizarre reason. What about up this part? Oh, we can see inside the church here. Not as high res in the church. Very bright. Got some good light coming in there. What a massive organ. Holy moly. Is there a... Come on. Give me another bit of... Great. Is this the same bit? Okay, so I think there's I think there's just that picture in the graveyard, unfortunately. So whether or not that is the where oh there's some graves at the back though. There's nothing nothing gravy happening in my ball of truth, unfortunately. It's all paths next to the church on the back end. Oh the church has had a magnificent extension. Is Jomo that guy's probably giving a Beatles tour? Says Jomo. Uh, several churches in Walton, but you got it in one. Nice, cool. So I found the right church, but um, I didn't find the right. I, I didn't find the grave, but I found the right one. Oh, Lazy Jane's done a super chat. Thank you, Lazy Jane. I shall come to you next. <coughs> A pfft. Lazy Jane suggestions. Quite excellent. I'm just going to have another quick little look around Walton. Perhaps this is where Jomo went to school. This is St. Julie's Catholic High School. Quite a modern, quite a modern looking school. But let's get out of school. No one likes to be in school, right? As if the Google car came all the way up here. Or did it? I don't know now. Maybe it's someone else's car. 
Some quite nice houses going on around here. Ah. I guess this is just after rain, because all the grass is nice and green. Quite cloudy as well. There's some pretty nice little, nice little quiet neighbourhoods around here. And a big playing field. I love the uh, I love the, uh, love it when we find a town that's 3D modelled though. You just go flying, flying through the the road, flying down the roads through the the streets and the houses. What's at the end of this street then? Big trees blocking the street. Here we go. So this was Walton. In Liverpool, and that is the church. Just see if I can get no, definitely no more shots of the graveyard close up. Sadly, just this, just the same one. Oh well. well, there we go. Thanks for inviting us to Walton, Jomo. It's very nice, and uh, I'm just going to stand on top of this building and have a quick look. Walton, let's, it's a bit, the sun is setting, let's, let's bring Walton in the daytime, there we go, or Walton in the night time, or Walton in the daytime, what about Walton in the very daytime, what about Walton in the, in the evening time, let's call that, okay, right, on to Lazy Jane's suggestion now, um, as per usual, it's only polite to do the, the members, uh, the uh, the Super Chats first. Uh, but there hasn't been too many today, so I can start jumping into um, uh, just random suggestions soon. I think everyone who's wanted, who's been super keen for me to visit, has done their Super Chats. So, uh, yeah, I'll get to see some random ones uh, maybe soon. Uh, Kate Lilly's uh, renewed the membership. Thanks, Kate Lilly. Have five. You've got the lovely posh box. Ooh, such a posh box. Right, Lazy Jane wants me to visit Doff Cocker Lodge in Bolton. Because uh, it's right near me. Doff Cocker Lodge. Classic. Doff Cocker Lodge. Bolton. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Doff Cocker Lodge. Ooh, Bolton's 3D. Oh, this it feels like I'm above a little, like a little model village at the moment. Get some Warhammer miniatures and trample them along. So here's Doff Cocker Lodge. Oh, it's very sunny here today, Lazy Jane. You picked a lovely day for it. Um, I get is Doff Cocker Lodge this um, this kind of body of water, is it? Seem to be. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, they didn't seem to. Be, oh! Someone's got a drone shot above Doff Cocker Lodge. Fancy. So Lazy Jane lives right near here. If I'd lived right near here, I would 100% like swim out or, or do a little paddle out. I don't know how deep that is. And camp on there one summer or something. That'd be pretty cool. Very green around here. Look at this. Oh, what's that spire in the distance? Did I go the right way? I don't know if I'm going the right way. There's a spire somewhere. At least I was in that shot. It was kind of this direction. There it is. What is this? What a marvellous erection. It's a giant old uh, chimney type thing that is Smith Wars Croft Road. Have you ever I guess you've probably seen this in real life a few times, haven't you, Lazy Jane? I don't know what it is, but I love this kind of weird old road that weaves around it. What the fuck? Why is there just a giant chimney there? Not attached to anything. Is that your back garden, Lazy Jane? A nice nice patio there. Lovely patio set as well, yeah, it's very nice. Oh, look at this house here. Oh, I love this house. 
look at this house. It's just got so many different bits to it. It's got like a porthole, it's got wood beams. Ah. Posh modern garage with a uh, house thingy above it. These weird windows on the side. I like that house, that's cool. This is an awesome little, um, little village. What's that say on it? 1888, maybe? There's a cool little river running through it. Nice. I don't know. This is, this is not... I've gone a little bit far, far away from Doff Cocker Lodge. But I presume, due to the, the size of that erection, uh, you will be familiar with it, Lazy Jane. Wait, what? That sounds wrong. Sounds bad. Is that you, Lazy Jane? No, it's not Lazy Jane. Not, hair's not pink enough. Maybe you live down this road. Maybe you're in there watching this stream right now. Or maybe uh, you and Tom are uh, in the living room in this house watching the stream right now, who knows? Who knows, not I, for I am just the eye in the sky. There's a lot going on here, quite a big industrial estate. Is it an industrial estate? No. Well, yeah, there is an industrial estate, and then this looks like it might be a bit of a town centre. Oh man, this is cool. What is this building? Oh, need to get a little bit closer. Oh, that. that's a that's a funky building and a half. Don't really know what it says in it, but yeah, Doff Cocker Lodge. Can we get any other pictures of Doff Doff Cocker Lodge while we're here? Oh, no, we can get about here and see. We can't get any closer. I bet that's a nice walk around the lake on the sun. Sunny day though, eh? We could do with uh, resurfacing this road though. It's gonna gonna do just, just do some damage to your tires, that's for sure. Alright. Doff Cocker Lodge. Done. Uh 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 Hey Steve Scodes, good to see you too, sir. Uh, hey Matt Fenner, high five. Thanks for becoming a new member. Thanks for supporting the channel, sir. Um, what's Lazy Jane saying? I know that area well, she says. Ah. I presume she's talking about the big tower. It's one of the old cotton mills, probably, she says. Uh, thanks for Super Chat All Man. Uh, he says, I'm meant to be I'm meant to Super Chat my visit location, but I've just put it in the chat instead. Okay. Okay, okay, let me see if I can find that. Ah, my location is super boring, but feel free to visit me on Orchard Street, Worcester, UK. Okay, okay. And thanks for becoming a member, Sarah Graham. High five. High five, legend. Thank you so much. Sarah Graham, she's a legend. All you members are uber, uber awesome. Or, what was it? Orchard something. I forget it already. Uh, Orchard Street. And Eric uh, Eric Engelber Engelbretson as well as a new member. High five, Eric Engelbretson. Thank you very much for memorizing yourself, sir. Right. Orchard. Orchard. Street. 
Uh, be careful um, how in detail he goes to where you live, though. You don't want to dox yourself on the internet. Um, Orchard Street. Worcester. Cherry Orchard, Worcester? There's a few. Oh, is it Orchard Street in Redditch? Oh, you're from Redditch, aren't you? Yes, it's got to be that one. It's got to be that one. Going back to Redditch. Holy moly. Um, thanks to Super Chat Kevin Mannion as well. I'm in St. Helens Merseyside. Thought I'd join in. Well, I guess we're going to go and look at uh, Redditch. Redditch isn't 3D modelled, unfortunately. Do I recognise this area from the air? Ria? I do not. So, you live around somewhere around here. I guess this is Orchard Place. I recognise this area of Redditch. This is Orchard. Oh, Smallwood, okay. Someone who used to live around here. Is there a driving centre somewhere? It's Oswald Street. I don't know from the right place. Marsden Road. Where's the town centre? This is the Kingfisher Centre, I believe. So that means the church is here. There's Redditch Church. Oh yeah, I know this town centre well. Changed it a little bit though. Wasn't a Papa John's there when I was last in Redditch. There's the entrance to the Kingfisher Centre. been drunk in there a few times, but that used to be a cinema when I first moved to Redditch. Stumble out and catch a taxi from out there when I want to go home. Redolence. Been for dinner up there. Been quite pissed in there before as well. Across. And then there's the train station down there. When I used to live in Redditch, is the car going to go down there? No. When I used to live in Redditch, um, to get to Brighton, that's that's where the train would go from. And then it would go that way, towards Birmingham. It took me about bloody three and a half hours to get to Brighton back in those days. Uh, da, da. Allman says, that's definitely the Kingfisher Centre. Recognise that ring road even from above. Uh, Redditch isn't all industrial estates. Oh, not quite right. I know Redditch well. Top one, Cherry Orchard, Worcester was correct. Oh, oh, it was... Oh, okay. Right. I will go to Cherry Orchard, Worcester next. I used to live... When I lived in Redditch, I used to live... Um, see if I can go there via the air. So that's Kingfisher Centre. So I used to live on Mount Pleasant, which is this road here. And it was right by the... here. I used to live outside slicing it. Not out right outside. <laughs> I used to live... Um, here we go. This one, here. That's where I used to live, and in fact, if you've ever seen my uh, inversion, perversion video, the Y-axis inverted illness sketch video I did, uh, you can see me bang my head against that door and fall onto those bins. Uh, but that's where I used to live. In that little, very thin house, but it went quite deep, that's what she said. Um, yeah. 
so that's uh, that's where I used to live in Redditch. I don't mind doxing my old houses. <laughs> and um, let's see if I can find Gems TV. I think the best way to find Gems TV from the air would be to go the way I normally go. Where's the bus station? There's the... Where's that bus station? Oh no, I've got confused again. Uh, there's the ring road. Is it that one? No, that's the town again. Where am I? Here? Ah, yes, it's down this way. It's down here. I'm following the bus route to Gems TV. <laughs> it's all the way around here. Um, I can't remember where I get off. I think it's in here somewhere. Everything looks different from above. <laughs> it's going to be quicker if I Google it. Eagle Road. Red Moons Moat Industrial Estate. There we go. I think I was quite close. Yeah, I was quite close. I was in the right area. So that means this here, it's this one here. There's Gems TV's building. This is where I got my uh, my start in TV. Many, many a times, many a good times had in that building. Uh, many a silly times had in that building. I don't know who that is. Do I recognize who's in the smoking shed? No, I don't. That's where we'd have to stand if there was a fire drill. Uh, yeah, so that's the building of Gems TV. That's the boss's office there. The only one with a window. Uh, okay, so it's Cherry Orchard. Uh, or, or, Orchard Street. Ooh. Orchard STD. There we go. Right. We're going to the right place this time. Uh, what have I missed? Uh, Alexander Hansen's done the one. Okay. So here we go. This is this is the actual place. So this is somewhere along here is where Urman lives. Urman. Here's me flying along Orchard Street in faux 3D world, and then I'll lift the ball of truth to my face, and we'll take a walk along. Just uh, normally. It's pretty much very similar to Redditch. In the style of terraced houses. Which one of these does Aura Man live in though? Don't tell us. <laughs> there we go. So this is Orchard Street in Worcester. Oh. Didn't even move that ball then. Is that you? Running away there? Having a jog, maybe? So, 
Thanks for Super Chat Oral Man and a trip down memory lane for me at least. That is Orchard Street in Cherry Orchard, Worcester. It's quite nice. I can't believe that this place has been 3D modelled and Redditch proper hasn't though. Oh, we've got a drone up here. What's this cool bridge? It's pretty awesome. It's like a one side suspension bridge. That's quite unique. Very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Okay, had a couple more super chats come in now. Um, so the next one is Alexander Hansen. Can I request Cortez, Colorado, USA? That's where I spent my formative years. Nobody in the family lives there now, says Alexander Hansen. Sure. Why the hell not? Cortez. Colorado? Is that what CO is? I'm going to guess. CO is Colorado. Kind of probably makes sense. Here we go. So this is me if Colorado was a wall and I was standing in front of the wall. Let's do this. Oh no, let's do this. Put it flat down. And oh look, the, these big mountain ranges have been uh, 3D modelled very nicely indeed. Super, oh, it was super high res. Felt like super high res until I got quite close. But this is this is pretty awesome. Look, look at this. Look how much space there is there. It's of nothingness. Just get dropped there by accident never make it back before look at this all this is this a desert you just never you you you'd never be able to get back to um civilization there you go we can stand on the on the top of the, the cliff here and look out at colorado down below nothing uh nothing in the ball of truth but it does kind of feel like i'm stood on the side of a mountain now looking out Colorado, Cortez. Let's go a bit closer then, shall we? Uh, fly quite close to the ground. Fly the navigator style. Compliance. I'll come up over this rock. And fly over this farmland. Acres and acres of farmland here. Still, uh, still quite far out from Cortez by the looks of things. More farmland. I wonder if we can have a look at this farmer's house. I bet this is a big house. Oh, it's, it's kind of uh, a house. Or is it a barn? I don't know. It doesn't look like the Google van's been down, uh, <laughs> down this road for a while, though, judging by the low resolution. Of the uh, of the of the camera, you see those mountain ranges though in the background that I was stood on just now. Let's keep going towards Cortez. Is this a big quarry maybe, or just just a natural winding river? No cameras been around here. Places we're going to be able to see. If I go here, can I spin the camera around? Can I look down? Like again, there's the mountain ranges over there. The uh, the camera's a little bit better now, but yeah, you got the mountain ranges, all that farm land in the in the distance, and we're still nowhere near Cortez. Turns out the world's massive. Who knew? Here we go. Plunk ourselves right down in the center of Cortez where the arrow showed us. Here we go. This is Cortez. Pippo's Cafe. Nice big wide American roads again. What was that there? Oh, it's a changing sign. The bank for me or happy. Bistro and Lounge. Nutcracker and Halloween are on. 
the twin cinema at the moment in my headset. Probably not anymore, but it, they were on. Look at that. It's a bit of a wild west town, eh? Yeehaw, Grandpa. This is the main street. There's a Sunflower Theatre that's showing The Rider. Never heard of that. And we got, oh, what's that? Restaurant and Brewery. <gasps> Kill to go there right now. Take me there! Smoke and stuff. I did not take my face out of the ball of truth there. Lie. Trophy room. What's this? High Mesa Designs. It's quite a, seems quite a, a, a quiet area. Let's go and stand in the middle of a random block. Again, yeah, not not too much. I oh, know it's kind of it started off low res, but I think it was just loading in because uh, it's a little bit sharper now. That big uh, American rig. So what is it like a dairy farm? Is that? So big old roads, this must be the autumn in Colorado. Don't know what that's meant to be. They're building themselves a sumo wrestling ring, maybe. Very nice. So that is, that was Cortez, Colorado. That's for Alexander Hansen. Thank you very much. Hi Ian, says Ernie Racer. Please come visit me in Einigen. Einigen? Einigen? Germany. See if you can spot the quarry and the roundabout right next to it. Einigen. Oh, is, is there a lot of... There's a lot of messages coming through. Maybe I need to save them just in case I miss them. This is... Uh, Two secs while I note these down. Have a look at the lovely uh, the scenery. I kind of um, saying the name Einingen has made me remember the time uh, I went to Nijmegen um, to roadie for my brother's band they were doing a festival there. Okay, right. I did say I was going to do some random ones, but then loads of people did super chats again, so I've got to get through these first. Um, yeah, let's go to Einigen, Germany. Next. Einen, Einigen. I think I've spelled it wrong. Uh, yeah, I was instantly spelt it wrong. Enningen. There we go. And what is it I'm looking out for here? A quarry and a roundabout. Okay, well, there's Enningen. And it's 3D model. This is a good start. There's a quarry. So we can go sit right in the quarry. Is there any cameras of the quarry? I love the fact that even the the quarry is like 3D modelled. Look at this, you can see the big building, the big quarry building here. Digs down into there as well. Very cool. So the roundabout next to the quarry. Uh, there, this is it. This is the roundabout next to the quarry. Is there something special about this roundabout, or is this just near... There's a little... Is this just near where you live, I wonder? Oh. What? Um. Can I get closer to this roundabout? It doesn't seem like the Google car's been along here. Which is um, unfortunate. Considering it's 3D model, you'd have thought the Google car would have been here as well, but there's no connected photos nearby at all. I want to 
a better I want a better look at the roundabout. Udlassen wir dig digital Cicerun nicht dem Restewelt. There's some something some kind of weird obelisk on there. But I don't know what it is. Let's just see if he said anything in the chat. Um, this is it. I live right next to the roundabout, says Ernie Racer. Ooh. Well, okay. Uh, in that case, I shall have a little... I'll have a little nosy around this area before I move on then. So it's not nothing too special about the roundabout, except for the fact that Ernie Racer lives right next to it. So I presume in one of these houses here, unless you live in one of these weird crop tents, which is probably not a good idea. Uh, but lucky you living next to a little so you can get all your food nice and, uh, nice and easy. As if the Google car's not been down here, though. Hopefully there's a way to view more of the streets around here, but it doesn't seem like there is. Google car's been pretty stingy with your neck of the woods, uh, Ernie. What about this? Do you recognize this? Oh, this is a... Oh, look at that little snail. Looks like a nice little area. What is this? Maybe a, a is that a school? Maybe am I in a am I in a school now? Is it like an outdoor table tennis table there or something? Is this just like a play area or is that a school? I'm not, I'm not sure. Adventure play. That's definitely an adventure playground there. Houses look nice. But um, what about this tree here? Where are we now? This is the bus, bus stop, maybe. Gewerbe Handelsverein, Handelsverein, Verein. Gewerbe and Handelsverein. <laughs> Sorry for butchering your language. That's a cool tree, though. Um, so we'll just have to. There's no. There's no connecting photos around here. Oh, this is that play area, I think, that we saw. So I'll just have a fly down your street, and I'll have to have a look this way. Hi. Pretty, uh, that's, no, that's just there. So, like, big apartments, big buildings. There's a cool blue, greeny colored one there. Nice. Right, so can we have a look at the church? Maybe we've got to be able to have a look at the church. Oh no, we can go inside a shop though. <gasps> it's a toy shop. Oh shit, son. Oh, I wish I'd brought my euros with me now. I could have done with a giant model of the Victoria. Can I go deeper into the shop? Oh, can Fireman Sam. What's Feynman Sam called in Germany? Oh, Feynman Sam. I knew that. And what have we got here? We could buy some horse, some model animals. And a giant panda! Aw, oh, ye. Yeah. Okay, well that was, that was inside that shop there. I want to have a look at the church in this building here, hopefully. Hmm, nope. This is by the church, so someone's been around and about uh, with, with a, a 3D camera. But the Google car is just... It's been slacking. It's been slacking in lovely Eindingen. Because uh, we can't get a proper look at it. But, oh, hold on. Oh no, this is, so this is a, a picture of the church. I love the windows with shutters on like that. Yeah. These buildings like that. I love buildings like that. So yeah, that was Einingen, Germany. Thanks for inviting us along. We had a lovely look at your quarry 
and uh, your roundabout. Not some, cr- not a huge look at the uh, the buildings in detail, I'm afraid, but um, we got a little bit of it. So thank you so much for the super chat there, um, uh, Ernie Racer, and thanks for inviting us to Einangen, Germany. Uh, you can come and visit Le Marche Maison Venue in uh, Montreal, near where I live, if you like. Very nice, there's some guy sitting down. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, I think I've been to Montreal in one of these before. Because um, I showed off the Ubisoft building. But, um, and I've been there in real life. But I don't think I've ever been to Le Marche Maison de Vue, if that's how you pronounce it. Maison, is it Maison French for house? Maison, whatever. Spell it wrong. Uh, that's Vancouver. Le Marche Espo- Esposito? How do you do the... Nope. Ah, oh, nuts. How do you do the the E's with the bits popping off them? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Ashe. Comma. to Montreal Mache Central? Maybe that? I guess. This is the closest Google this is the closest Google Earth gets to it. Uh, some guy sitting down. I'd love to come to Germany uh, any time, any race. And one day I'll go back. Um, I did find my quarry, St. Peter's. You're correct. Oh, Maison has one S. Oh, okay. It was, it was written with two S's. On the... Uh, on the text. Uh... Spaces there. Try it again. No. It does not like your the location you have given me, I'm afraid. So we'll just have to go to Marche Central and uh, have a look around there. Instead, some guy sitting down because uh, I can't find it with what you've written there. Uh, but Google um, Google Earth is not the most accurate, I find. This is Marche Central, Boulevard de l'Académie, Montreal, Canada. This is Montreal. Montreal's pretty big. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of Canada. Who knew Canada was so big, huh? So that's, that's the French Quarter, is it? If I remember correctly. I might be wrong. This is the Olympic place, right? I've actually been in here. This one. Well, one of these. This They built this for the Olympics. And now it's like a... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in here. It's like a wildlife sanctuary now, in inside. I've actually been in it, and there is video footage somewhere. 
online of me being in this exact place. Um, yeah, I, we, when I came here to see Assassin's Creed Black Flag being made, um, we had some time to kill before the flight, so we went there. So this is where the marker took me. It's it's shopping area, but uh, oh look, there's a mace on there. Maybe you live in <laughs> maybe you live in that shop. <laughs> maybe that's what happened. Is uh, you lived in a shop in Boucler Maison, and that that's where you live. Saying. La Marche is pretty close to some guy sitting down. Oh, we're pretty close, okay. Um, oh, it's La Croix Boy Marks' wife's birthday today. Happy birthday, La Croix Boy Marks. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Marks. Right, so what I'm going to do, because I don't know whereabouts you live, is I'm going to stand on top of this building here, and hopefully we'll be able to find... We better see where you live from up here somewhere, maybe some guy sitting down. Yeah, there's lots of buildings down there. Could it be one of these? Could you be living in one of these, maybe? Could you be living in one of these apartment blocks? Or maybe within these trees? I don't think you'll be living there. That's definitely an industrial estate. I mean, you could be living all the way up there, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna say you live. Let's have a look off this corner. There's the shoppy shops. More shoppy shops. I'm gonna say you live here. This road. With the tents outside and what? Okay. Does every house in Canada have its own car tent? This is new. Are these in, instead of garages to maybe, yeah, maybe this road doesn't have very many garages. So everyone's got their own car tent instead to shield their cars from the weather. Um, I've never seen a road with, well, I've never seen a road with any car tents. Not, uh, I mean, yet, let alone a whole road full of car tents. I wonder if these people like have like car tent tops. They'd be like, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe Monsieur Jones has a better car tent than me. I'm going to have to upgrade my car tent. Snow shovel there though. You know, it's gonna get snowy sometime in Montreal. So there we go. Not 100% sure I was in the right place, but Let's have a look at the church. Can we have a look at the church? Does the no, we can't have a look at the church. Does the church have a car tent outside it? It does not, but it does have a lovely big spire. There we go. So that was a quick look at um, Montreal, La Marche, La Marche area of Montreal. Montreal's massive. What's this up here? Where is this up here? Is this a park or is this farmland? Was it are those gravestones? What the fuck is this? This is yeah, oh yeah, it's gravestones. What kind of what language is that then? Is that a, I don't know what language that is. I was gonna say maybe it's not um like a um a Christian or like Catholic or whatever. One, I don't really know too much about religions. Do any other religions have the cross? Or is it just the Jesus-y one? Uh, don't know. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Next week I'll give you better directions, lol. The car tents are to protect against the snow, so you don't have to shovel it, so some guy sitting down. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay, right. I've noted yours down, Mini Moocher. Um, got 
a few more to get through before we get to you, though. Starting with Vulpers It Obscura, who says, Hey, Ian, may I request a visit to Fox Street, Johannesburg? I don't live there around there anymore, but it was one of my favourite places as a student. Is it Johannesburg or is Johannesburg? Fox Street. Marshalltown, Johannesburg? I think it's Johannesburg. I've been doing voiceovers for a video where the J's are huzz noises recently. So this is Fox Street, Johannesburg. South Africa. Sunny. Don't see many of those fucking prawns <laughs> up here. Wee. Well, here we go. This is uh, right in the middle of Fox Street. Let's place my face into the circle of truth. Ooh. Oh, this is some tall buildings here on Fox Street, Johannesburg, or Johannesburg. The ball sometimes goes. What shop is that? House of Jeans? I prefer to go to the House of Jorts, to be honest with you. African Bank. Latino's fast food. Oh, I'd love some Mexican food right now. Driving school. It's quite, it seems like quite a long road. I don't know which part of the road you're most familiar with True Worths. Ackermans. Does it go all the way down this road? Is it just like a really long side street? Some cool market stalls on the side of the road. Foshimi. This is a Johannesburg bus, a metro bus. Joburg metro bus. I know what they sell in Pepsal. Never heard of a shop called Pepsal before. Never been to South Africa before. Sports scene. Maybe you could buy a hat. Did you buy a hat from that stall ever? Maybe. Maybe. This lion's hungry right now. This lion is very hungry. So what is, is like Fox Street kind of like um, a cool like market stall ta like area I think. Seems to be getting busier. Like lots of like cool little side shops and very busy. Is there any street foods going on around here? Pack some street food right now. Something cooked hot, not just a, a bag of nuts, please. I'll take some fruit though. Get one of my five a day. I bet it's well hot here, isn't it? Oh, right on the side of that building. Let's remove the, the circle of truth. Oh, the underground. Oh, so this is... I was on Eloff Street. Okay, I'd gone a little bit too far. Wait, maybe Fox Street... This is Fox Street? No, this is Eloff Street. Wait a minute. What's Fox Street, then? Is this Fox Street? Oh, hold on a minute. I think I'd gone down the wrong way. This is Fox Street. Here. You've probably been shouting at me in the comments about this. I chose, I was at a, it stopped me at a crossroads and I went down the wrong crossroads. Um, I spent most of the time at one fox, but it's a cool trendy marketplace kind of road. I think I'm in the right. I think what I did was um, at this marker here, um, I went down that way. And I think Fox Street is this, down this way. 
This is one two one two two Fox Street. I can't go further that way. That's thirty five Von Brandis Street. So maybe this way. That's one one nine Fox Street. Okay, so this I believe is Fox Street. Oh yeah, ninety nine, ninety three Fox Street. Okay, eighty four Fox Street. Said so you spent most of your time at one Fox Street. So we're going 70, 68, 62, 57, 51, 49, 48. We're getting closer. Tell you what, it's quite far away from um, where the the pin originally was, wasn't it? 19 Fox Street, 11 Fox Street, 9, 8, 7, 5, 21 Alexander Street, 2 Fox Street. Okay. Ah, number one, Fox Street. Oh, and of course we can't go in there. My jo so in here... Is, is it 3D model? It is kind of 3D model. Can we go inside? Yes, we can. Awesome, here we go. This is what you're talking about, right, Vulpus Obscura? Hey, this is very cool. This is like... Um, an, an enclosed bar stroke eatery area, isn't it? I've been to places like this before when I've been uh, on holiday in places. There are lots of, I bet there's like live bands playing and you can stay here late at night and get drunk and hang out. Fox Chef. So this, yeah, this is, this is the place you meant. This is basically the same area from that last shot, except for no one's, no one's here. <laughs> what about this view? Is this the same view? It's the same view. Not a huge amount of views or, or, or um, areas to look at, but I like the Meccano tables. There we go, it's Mad Giant. That's number one Fox Street. Cool little bar. Stroke eatery area to hang out. So yeah, it was the pin dropped us there, and we had to go all the way down here to find that location, which was just there in this bit here. Awesome! Well, there we go. We found it in the end, Volpers Obscura. Some of the best gigs in my life were here, both on stage and in the crowd. Lol. Awesome! Ah, I didn't know you was a musician. Very cool. Very cool indeed. All right. Kate Lilly says, going to give Swindon a run for its money. I grew up at 241 Remsen, St. Coas, New York. Don't worry, it's a bar now. Coas Falls are pretty now. Okay. Oh, hold on. We can go inside the Mad Giant store. True Grit. This is inside the Mad Giant. <gasps> oh, man. Booze. Brews. Lovely stuff. There we go. Right. To the skies. Right, now. Two, four, one. Space. Remsen. Remsen. Remsen what? Street. Cohoes, two for one. Raho, ra, 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 that one. It's that one, friendos. Here we go. Oh, whose birthday is it tomorrow? It's Mini Moocher's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Mini Moocher. I've got your uh, location noted down. We're going there. Uh, we've got Kate Lily. We've got Rick en Engelbretson, we've got Dave Darkin, we've got Lacroix Boy Marks, and then it's your turn, Mini Moocher. Right, so. Two for one, Remsen Street. So this is, as you say, you grew up here, Kate Lily? Grew up at two for one, Remsen Street. But it's a bar now. Okay, well. Would have been cooler if you grew up in a bar. Is it this building here, do you think? Let's have a look. Oh shit, son. So that used to be your house, 
and someone's changed your house into a really funky bar. I love it. Yeah, I can see it says like like is that pool? Some beer sign. Oh, fucking magic ball. Spindles, wine bar, light food maybe, and beer. So that's where you uh, that's where you grew up, is it? Was that your bedroom window there, perhaps? That's weird. That'd be weird seeing my old house and um, like there being a bar where my front door was and stuff. That's quite cool though. It does look like this, um, what do you call that? This bit that with the window extends off. Does look like maybe that might be falling off. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put a heavy TV next to that window, let's put it that way, because it, like, uh, it looks like it's on the tilt a bit. I need to get some supports under there, stat. So this is the, uh, so this would be the view out of your, uh, what the fuck? Hold on a minute. So you're sitting there in your bedroom, thinking about how life will be when uh, your bedroom's turned into the place where they keep the beers, when the bar, uh, when, it, when it's a bar. You look out your window and there's a fucking castle. What the shit? <laughs> how is there a castle there? There's some very unique look at how there's some very unique looking buildings. Long here, Rizzo's House of Flowers. How do we get to the castle? Oh, like that. So this is De Pietro Bros. What the fuck? Like it's like a an ye olde English prison almost. What's going on here? What is this building? 33 Heart. I'm sorry. I don't know. How, I'm not sure how many people are going to need to defend themselves with bow and arrows in New York. So I don't know why there's so many murder holes in that tower, but look at this building. It's crazy cool. And then there's this big old, just like, flamboyant church over here as well. It's like a, a normal church. And then they just bolted on a load of extra bits of church. <laughs> cool. Whee! All right, there it is. And there's the crazy... Oh, hi! Oh... Oh no, oh no! So that's a weird building, but yeah, there's uh, Kate Lily's old house. Let's have a look at Kate Lily's back door. Wait, what? Which one was it? Is it? Where am I now? Where am I now? Yeah, can we go here? I don't think we can go there. I think it's. I think the back of that bar is like that one, or maybe, maybe that is the back of the bar. Yeah. Oh, it's quite cool. So there's quite a cool, like outer area. There. Can't really see it properly, but there's lots of flowers and stuff up there. So I guess that's like the sit out there and smoke and drink, maybe. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> okay. That castle is a colonial armory. Now they sell jeans and drugs. Nice. Jeans and drugs. The best combination. The outer area must be new, says Kate Lily. Okay, uh, the Cahoes Falls. Let's just have a quick see if we can see the Cahoes Falls. Uh, maybe I don't need to... Well, there's... I mean... There! This'll be the Cahoes Falls. <laughs> Excellent, just what I wanted. One leg. Ooh. 
frothy there. Is there a better? Can I get a better view? Turbulent water kills, allegedly. Let's see if I can get a better view of the. No, that's a leg again. I want to get a, a better view of the falls. Here we go. A little bit higher up. Uh, not the best quality, but the yeah, the falls look pretty awesome. Big river goes all, all the way down there. Um, oh, pretty sure that hole's not there in real life. So this is the Cahoes Falls. It goes, it's pretty big, isn't it? It goes all the way down here. Splits up. Becomes some kind of like a mini waterfall-y type thing here. Can we have a look at that? We cannot. Yeah, nice. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane, Kate Lily. To your old house at Now Bar. You should go back to your old house and have a have a drink there and tell them that you uh, tell them that you grew up there. Bet they give you a free drink. I might go there and tell them that I used to live there so that I could get a free drink. Right, next up, I've got written down here Rick Engel Engelbretson, but it could be Eric Engelbretson, um, and I've just copy and pasted it wrong because the Rick is not capitalized. So it might be Eric Engelbretson. So, or Eric or Rick. Hello. Uh, you want me to go to Eagle Cliff Mountain, Colorado. Colorado repping hard uh, this stream. This is Eric. Really is. Well, bloody hell. These streams go well fast. I'm going to finish this stream at... Um, uh, I'm going to try and finish the stream about ten past eight. So, um, and I've got one, two three four five to go now because old crow's just done one so i would probably uh not do any more super chats i mean you could do super chats if you want to say something um but chances are if you do a super chat with a, a place for me to visit i might not get time uh i'll try and speed these ones up though so i can get uh, them all in eagle cliff mountain colorado let's go for it Eagle Cliff Mountain, Colorado. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zooms. Take me there, science. Oh. Eagle Cliff Mountain, Colorado, USA. Here we go. This is this is Eagle Cliff Mountain. Unfortunately. Oh, hold on. Is this the top of Eagle Cliff Mountain, I wonder? I was going to say, unfortunately, there's no, no cameras up here, but... I mean... This is pretty... Uh, this is on the top... If this isn't the top of Eagle Cliff Mountain, it's the top of a mountain close, and holy shit! Look at all those mountain ranges. That's nuts. When you live at a place as small as England, and you see places like this that are just mountains and mountains and stuff, it's really like it's quite jaw-dropping. It's like that place we visited um, in was it Norway last week with all the snow and the cool buildings and stuff. It's just bonkers. Like you forget how much of the planet there is. Amazing panorama. Whoever climbed up here to take that photo is a legend. Ah, lake in the distance. I'm guessing you don't live up here on Eagle Cliff uh, Mountain. Is there anywhere else around here that the car is there? The roads, the Moraine Park Amphitheatre. Is here. I don't know how close this is. This is wow. Okay, this is just a, an amphitheater in the middle of the Colorado woods. By the looks of things, what goes on here? Is this like some kind of nature talks, maybe, 
or do they do some kind of Shakespeare in Colorado here? I don't know. Is that where is is that around here somewhere in these wood, wood in this wooded area? Is it that? Don't really know. Maybe it's something to do with this bit here. This is Three Bear Lake Road. Maybe this is where you live. Some kind of like tiny little museum. Hey, dead cat. So we're at the top of some little museum building. This one, I guess. Which is kind of right next to Eagle Cliff Mountain. Is there anything to look at down here? Anything I can put my face into here? My face in here. Don't seem to be. Maybe that's Eagle Cliff Mountain. I don't really know. It's hard to tell. But I tell you what, this does feel a bit Far Cry 5 right now. Cool. Oh, look at that building. Rocky Point. Cool. Right, well. That was a look at Eagle Cliff Mountain there. That was for Rick Engelbretson. Thank you very much for the uh, the super chat, Eric or Rick. Ma Hockman says, ooh, Estes Park, I've been there. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, how weird. That is the top. Oh, that was the top. It was Eric Engelbritson. He says, that is the top. But there's more snow here now at the moment. Nice. Glad I found it, Eric. Nice one. Um, okay. Right. Next up, Dave Darkin. Coin for the tour to get an ice cream. Not for the stream, but the aircraft graveyard Tucson is a little cool. Ooh, it does sound exciting. Aircraft graveyard. Aircraft graveyard. Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Potentially, this is where they filmed some kind of Transformers thing. I think maybe there was a bit in a Transformers movie filmed here. Oh, as if. This would be a very cool place to be able to visit in the real life. So all these are dead planes just like kind of left here, huh? There are no roads or anything. Are they just... Does the military not let Google go near these kind of things? There's a lot of dead planes. Look at these little helicopters and things. Well, you can tell exactly what they are and like <laughs> the tails are off these ones. You can tell that they're planes and stuff because they're all 3D model. There's some big ones, some little ones. Look at these weird, weird ones. Oh, little, look at these, like, mm, I was going to say MiGs, but the MiGs are the Russian planes, aren't they? So they're probably not MiGs. F 14 Hornets? I'm just making it. Just mention, writing, uh, what? I'm just saying names that I remember. I think I had a Transformer of that. Oh, it's a shame that can we go here on this road? There's nowhere. Nowhere where we can get an actual proper look camera wise, huh? Where do they park this one all the way out here on its own? Does it smell or something? Ooh, okay. We've got a drone view though. We've got a bird's eye view. Now we can see things in a bit higher detail. There's a lot of planes there. It's a real shame we can't go in, uh, go right in amongst them. But that's pretty awesome. Just a bunch of broken plane shells everywhere. I like that someone took it. This is really high. They got the drone up super high. I wonder if that car down there. It's the car that the drone operator is in. So, where's the closest I can get? What's about here? Oh yeah, so here's a road going along the side of it. 
can really see a lot of um, the planes all a bit distant and all a bit soft focus because it's not the best resolution but we can see all the cut all the planes i bet everyone drives really slowly yeah everyone's look, there's a traffic jam here because everyone's driving really slowly to like look at the planes out the window bet the locals get well pissed off like, for fuck's sake You're just planes you dickheads drive faster go that was the Tucson aircraft graveyard shame we can't go into it in any detail aside from like this but we get a little kind of idea if I plunk myself there the size of the planes compared to a person a little bit of an idea of how big they all are let's go some of the bigger planes Look, that's massive As if you can like read the writing on the side of it as well. Madness. Madness, I tell thee. Well, there we go. Nice one. Thank you, uh, Dave Darking. Uh, I'm, asha uh, I'm, I'm ashamed. Uh, it's a shame that uh, I couldn't do a proper tour of it, but never mind. Never mind. Okay, Lacroix Boy Marks is next. If you get a chance, check out Pittsburgh. PA, just moved from there last year. Went to grad school there. Okay. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Do this. Oh. It feels I don't know why it does this. It feels weird when it's like that. Okay, I'm going to guess that Pittsburgh has been 3D modelled. It certainly looks like it as we're getting closer. It's very cool. Um, okay, I, I've watched some of these back and it looks great, like in 2D, the, the view that you lot are seeing. It looks really nice, actually. In a way, it looks sharper than what I'm seeing. Um, but... And in, in fact, just looking like at the screen now, like you do get you do get quite a good effect of the 3D actually. Like it's not as good as what I can see because there's the there's a bit more depth to it all. But you do kind of get a good sense of of how it it actually looks for me with this, almost better than in um, normal VR corners. Uh, in normal VR corners, things look very flat. I presume it's because there's so many buildings here. So much stuff that you there's a really good idea of the perspective. Um, but, yeah. Honestly, it looks proper. Like, just coming up here slowly and then seeing the the, the city in the distance kind of rising up. That's like looks incredible from where I am. What's this? Is this, this is a church or this is St. John Baptist Ukrainian church. I was gonna say it had a bit of an Eastern European look to it. Those towers. Let's go over to Pittsburgh and have a look at central Pittsburgh. So here we go, this is Pit Whoa, bloody hell. Wouldn't want to drive all across that. That looks confusing as fuck. Like look at this building though. You've got modern mixed with. Look at that. It's like a, what is? Th it's like a vintage style exterior. Is that like a faux vintage style exterior? Where am I? I'm in the lobby. I'm in someone's bloody office. The master in the art of living makes little. Destruction before he's what? Why would you write this? Someone's just showing off. What is this? Where is this? I'm just in someone's someone's tiny little office. 
next to someone who sells sunglasses? Where am I? What? What is this? Les? Is this is like, um, Better Call Saul's office. <laughs> what was going on in there? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oh, that's really odd. That's so bizarre. They've like a like a modern glass front. And they've given it spires like an old castle, but they've made it all out of glass. That's very fancy. The plaza at PPG Place. That is a posh car. These are rich people, right? So the, this is where all the Richies live. Get some more roads on the go. PNC Bank. Oh, that's a big Christmas tree. Look at this, so shiny. Everything's very swanky here. WB Mason, uh huh? Let's just stand in the middle of the road. It's crazy, it's like some kind of like mega, mega church or something it almost looks like. And then there's that other big building here. Oh, McDonald's. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Might have mentioned already, but I'm quite hungry. Well, that is a look at Pittsburgh. Should we have a look at the river from the bridge? There we go. There's a lot of bridges in Pittsburgh. There's a greenery up that way. Big rivers. I like the bridges. It seems quite quiet, Pittsburgh, today. Expected Pittsburgh to be a bit busier. Maybe this is um, peak Covid or something. Most people are staying in. Who knows? Rick's Cabaret. Can we go in Rick's Cabaret? Is it Rick's Cabaret. No. No cameras inside Rick's Cabaret, unfortunately. But we can stand right on top. We've got the fans in so much detail there, and then it kind of shifts perspective when I get up on top of it. There we go, and then we can stand up on the top and look off the top of the tallest building in Pittsburgh. What a view. I feel like, like I, could, I could do, um, what's that game where you jump and you're a superhero? Crackdown. Oh. It changes perspective a bit. When you leave the top of buildings, but I've just jumped, just jumped from that building to the top of this building, and now look at me, coppers. There's the sports, sports. It's gonna stand in the middle of the sports. Hi, I'm on the sports. Look at me doing a sports. Very cool. So, that was Pittsburgh. For Le Croix Boy Marx. He's just moved out from there. Just moved from there last year. So, there we go. Hopefully you saw some bits you uh, you recognise. It is called the... Oh, it's called the City of Bridges. There we go. Oh, yeah, prototype would work as well, uh, uh, Gavin. And uh, Le Croix Boy Marx says, Ah, oh, PNC Park. Somewhere you've been before then, I guess. Some good memories of PNC Park, eh? Uh, all right, it's time for the birthday girl, Minnie the Moocher. Uh, who's in Russia? Have I done a Russia before? I mean, apart from Chernobyl at the start. I'm not sure. Have I visited somewhere in Russia? No Vokrofford, though, sorry. Also, I lived in Shanghai for five years, and I would appreciate if you showed my Changping Street so I could reminisce a bit. Let's have a look at Krasnodar, Russia. First, Kras. 
Kras, 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 no, duh, Russia. There we go. So this is where you currently live. Whether or not this will be 3D-ified, um, I don't know. I'm going to guess not, but maybe. No, it is not. This is Krasnodar, Russia, though. Do we get some Google Street View? I think we do get some Google Street View, so I'm just going to stick my face right in the circle of truth and have a look. So there we go, Russia. Russia's got big American-style streets as well, hasn't it? Nice hotel. Is that a bank, do you think? Don't know. There's one one language that I find impossible to read. It's Russian. Because you think that it says... Mekto or something, but that's well not how it's pronounced. So whereabouts in this in this city? Because this is pretty big. Look how big this is. That's a big city. That is a big old city. I've never heard of Krasnodar. Is that how you pronounce it? Krasnodar? Maybe. Let's have a look at the river. See, can we get on top of here and... Wait, was there a drone shot then? Yeah, I like the drone shots. <gasps> Look at that. Shit, son. Ooh. Hey, that's cool. So we've got, like... This looks like more rural. Russia, or almost. Or at least a bit more... Space move. What's that little building there? Oh, that's weird. And then you've got the cities and a bit more suburban -y areas, maybe. That's massive. What's that weird building as well? I want to see what this building here is. What well, looks like a swimming pool on top. I can't. Where is it? It's like just adjacent to that road. Be it's this building here. Here it is. Oh, well, oh, it's it's being what? Hold on. Oh, I wish they'd hurry up and finish building my fancy building. It's really taking a long time now. Done. <laughs> nice gate. That is a real, that is an, an interesting building. It stands out amongst all the others. Who, who lives there? No one at this point. Imagine living in that house and then like some, someone comes on and goes, oh, I'm just going to build a, a castle next door. And you're like, God damn it, dude. Stop showing off. So some kind of random castle there. I like the fact that Google streetcars come down this road and then at a different time another one has come down this road while they're building it. And what was the other building I wanted to see? It was this one here. What is this one here? A weird dome thing. Maybe like a shopping centre or something. Uh, it's quite busy. Quite busy. Lots going on. And it looks like it must be summer. People are like shorts and t-shirts and stuff. You always think of Russia being quite chilly, don't you? But uh, not today. Everyone in their uh, everyone in shorts and t-shirts. Not a, not a drop of snow to be seen. Uh, it's a typical Russian city. Somebody meet you? Uh, 
Oh, it's Chernobyl in Ukraine, is it? Uh, I knew that. Because it was in the it was in the USSR, but then the the USSR split up. I was. Uh, it's because I watched the TV show Chernobyl recently, and um, I uh, back when that happened, it was the whole Soviet Republic, wasn't it? But now it's not anymore. So apologies, apologies. Um, Okay, and the other one was Changping Street. Is that going to be right? Chang, Changping Street, Shanghai? I'll give it a try. Changping Street. Shanghai? Well, so I lived in Shanghai for five years and I appreciate it if you showed my Changping Street so I could r reminisce a bit. I don't know if that's the right... Um, uh, is it actually... Ch is it Changping Street in Shanghai or is there a bit of... Is there more of a... A, uh, is there a more precise way to find it, Mini Moocher? Because um, that's not really coming up with. Well, there's lots of different. Shanghai, China. China's pretty big, you see. Shanghai as well, especially. Massive. Not 3D modeled, didn't really think it would be, to be honest. I'm gonna guess, as well. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to see your street too well. Because, um, I was gonna say, oh no, hold on. I was going to say the Google car is probably not allowed in China. There's a couple of 3D photos. But, um, well, there's one for the entirety of China by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've. Is that the same? Yeah. Yeah. China's not too keen on Google mapping their entire country by the looks of things. <laughs> What's this? Someone's helmet on a bike. Very low res. So yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to see where you live, Mini Moocha. Go visit Bund in Shanghai instead, then it's not too far. Okay. Search. Bund. Bund? That? Maybe Huangpu, Shanghai. This, I think it's this. Oh, this looks interesting, though. Oh, a bit before. Look at that. Oh, God, I haven't been in a crowd like this for a long time. Not the best resolution of the photo, but that the city in the distance looks incredible, all lit up like that. Is there any better view I can get than that? But 
this one. Oh yeah, here we go. This looks a little bit nicer. So we've got some uh, big old buildings here, and then yeah, that view. Look at that tower there. And that amazingly lit up boat. That's so cool. I wonder if I can go across. I guess I'm stood here in these photos, so these big were these big towers here, or were they here, or is it th is it that is that big tower? Where am I now? I'm inside. I think I'm inside that big tower at night time. Again the. Quality isn't brill balls of the views. Look at that. Oop. That's nuts. That is such a cool building. I love it. I want to go closer to it if I can. That's the one I saw before. What about this one? This looks a bit higher res. Oh, because this is up in that, up in that tower. So I think the first shots we looked looking up at this tower we've taken from down there, and then this is up that tower. Yeah, what such a view of the city! Man, man, look at that! Awesome. So there we go. That was a look at. Look at Shanghai. Shanghai grew that big in under 20 years. That's why you can't see those tall buildings on Google Maps from above. Says Mini Reacher. Crazy. Uh, okay. Well, happy birthday for tomorrow, Mini Reacher. Thanks for inviting us to uh, Russia and uh, Shanghai. You have lived an amazing life. Done some cool traveling. Both China and Russia are places I want to go, but never have been. Uh, so finally, we're going to go to visit Tacoma in Washington uh, for an old crow. Let's do it. Tacoma. No, Tau. Tacoma. There it is. There's the planet Earth fanning around in space, being like a big ball and stuff. And then we go right in, all the way from space, all the way in, all the way into Tacoma. Keep going. We're going to go and land on the street. Spaceman to Standard Man in a matter of seconds. Boom, and there we go. Tacoma, Washington. Here we go. We're on Tacoma Avenue. In fact, quite steep. We head right down the hill. There seems to be an awesome bridge up ahead. Let's head down the hill. Check out the bridge. Port of Tacoma. Look at that, yeah, yeah. Got all the boats and things. There's a weird dome over there. Lots of rivers and stuff. Mm, stuff. What's over this side? Quite industrial over here. All the cranes and the steam and everything. Nicely modelled though, Tacoma is. What the fuck? I'm gonna guess that's not how the water is. <laughs> Look at this. Fully 3D modelled Tacoma. It's a cool clock tower building here. Let's see it. Very high definition camera on the, the Google car here. I love, I love, 
stop in as well. I like this road as well, the way that one part of it's up and the other part goes down. It's an interesting, interesting road layout. I'm a nerd. Like a weird, like, corner building. A Pli Plithian temple. There it is, there. Just some, I wonder how old those paintings are. Is that Leroy? Did that say Leroy Jenkins? Oh, it says Leroy Judas. I was like, what? That building's called Leroy Jenkins. But it's not. It's called Leroy Jewelers. Very awesome street art. still around? Is he saying anything? I haven't found Atlantis yet. No, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. What is this building here? This is an odd, odd thing. See it from here. Must be some kind of ship. Yeah, it's like is it like a shipping, a fix em up shipping place, or maybe an, an unloading and loading area? I think it's unloading and loading of, of big ships because there's also a, a train next to it. So these big tankers must come in from over there somewhere, park up here, unload, pop it all on these trains, and then they shoot off around the rest of the country. Looks like quite a busy shipping port though. It's big as well, Tacoma, isn't it? It's all over here, what's it like in the middle of Oh yeah, look how look how much water there is. Is there a sea? This is the sea, right? So that's the sea. And then, so all of this in here is just like river water and stuff. There's just like so much. Or is it part of the sea that just comes in on, on land? I don't know, but there's a bloody great mountain up there that I'm going to go and check out in a second. Just going to have a look at Tacoma's lovely park here. Can I see it? There it is. Oh, so much greenery. Big trees. Very pretty. Very pretty. And there's some kind of botanical house there. Which is nice. Oh, just pop my face out. Fine. What's this? Let's have a look at this house here. Oh, oh my. Swindon vibes here. <laughs> There's like a new built. There's like a house they've just built. Looks like a really new kind of kit kit house that they've just whacked up there, and then someone's just instantly uh, graffitied it. They haven't even taken the stickers off the windows. It's that new. These ones are a little bit more run down. This is uh, where they do their work when it's sunny. little tiny kind of um, blocks. Ghost cars! Oh my god. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. I picked I, I just picked a random place in Tacoma and uh, I pick one with an awesome bit of street art. Just by luck. Excellent work, me. Can I see it from a bit of a distance or anything? Or kind of a bit Alice, almost kind of an Alice in Wonderlandy kind of building is. What building is it? Can I go on the road at all from here? I don't 
there's the side of it. So what is it? It is a speed wash. I did not... So out of all the buildings I thought that would be, I did not expect it to be a laundrette. I did not expect it to be a coin, coin laundrette. And then look at this house here. That's awesome. Murder basement. Nice. Alright, I did say I was going to go and check out that mountain. Where's that mountain? It's quite far away. Superman in my way there. What is this fucking thing? It's massive. Oh, someone's been up here. <gasps> what the shit? I mean, what, like, how, 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 like, where's the, where's the nearest pub? You climb all the way up here and then you got to get all the way back down again for miles. Imagine that as well. You walk on that and you twist your ankle on a rock. You get fucked. You have to limp for miles down a hill. Look at this thing. How did they even get up there? First place. Well, maybe that's that picture wasn't exactly right on the top or something. I don't think it was actually. I think it's that's the top. That's where I am, and then this is kind of like a rocky area in front of it. So maybe that photo is taken. That wait a minute. Hit. Shit, bastard. Where was it? I had a I had a snow picture. Here we go. Here we go. This is more like it. Look at these lot. That's brave. Climbing all the way up here. I wonder if they camped up here. I wouldn't want to do there and back in a day, you know. So that mountain, I think, is... I think Tacoma's that way. Because... That's that mountain there that I was looking at. What was it? What was it? It's one of them mountains. Tacoma's over here. Bloody hell. Some big mountains though. Over in America, eh? That's Mount Rainier. Rainier. Known to the locals as Mount Rainey, says Kate Lily. Ah. I see. Well, that's... That's everyone visited for this week. I will do this again in another couple of weeks. Um, before I go, what, where can I go? What, what would I like to visit? I, I want to go and visit somewhere. Where would I like to visit? Um, I wonder if we can go to Pyongyang. I'm going to guess we can't. Maybe we can. Maybe there'll be... <laughs> I don't... Oh, no, I thought I'd been properly 3D modelled then. I was going to say, I don't think uh, Google Car's been here, but... There's a bit of Pyongyang, North Korea. Very beige, isn't it? It's like a Terraflops game. Yeah, no street views anywhere. Nothing in this big... in the centre. Oh, hold on. What's this one? Oh, that's quite pretty. This is probably, like... If there's anywhere in the world that I'll probably never set foot, it's North Korea. Those big buildings. Like, it's such a big city, but it's so empty. It's such a weird place. What about this? What is this? Can I go in the sports arena or anything? No. Oh, what was that there? Where did you go? I saw one. For a second. I lost it. Yeah. 
pretty secretive. North Korea, so there's... Oh, hold on, what's that? Is that... Oh, hello. Oh, there's a Westerner. Checking out a statue. That's Kim... Is that Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-il? I guess. I don't really know. I can't imagine being a tourist in North Korea being the most safest feeling of things, to be honest. I just have the fear of taking the photos of the wrong thing. Now that's that. That was there. There's the statues. And that's this hill again. There's not too many places. There are a few places. So that was... That's Pyongyang. North Korea for you. So there we go. Um, right. Well, uh, I'll try and think of somewhere a little bit more interesting to explore at the start and the end of, um, of uh, the next stream I do. I was going to stream something tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to have time because not only am I filming something tomorrow evening um, for a special Eurogamer um, members video but I'm also hopefully going to have time to join in the uh, the reaction stream for Dying Light 2 which is happening tomorrow um, we're streaming that from, on Eurogamer from I think 7.45 until it ends and then having a little bit of a chat but Dying Light 2 has been something that um has been in the works for Yonkos for a very, very long time. So uh, it's going to be exciting to see some more of that. Um, but that's me done for now. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming along and joining for another Visiting My Viewers in Google Earth VR gameplay. Uh, all 133 of you on YouTube and 12 of you on Twitch as well. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me to your places. I'll see you all very soon here on Platform 3. Well, not very soon. I won't see you on Friday. Normally I see you on Fridays, but I'm not going to see you on Friday. Uh, I'm rescheduling that stream, the community stream, for sun Saturday. Um, so, not Friday, but Saturday. And it's going to have PUBG and... Super Bomberman R Online. Super Bomberman R Online is coming out tomorrow, I think, on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Switch. It's going to be free to play and cross-play. So I think, hopefully, we should be able to get a load of you in and get a big old full Bomberman 64-player lobby. So um, I'll check all that out when it releases tomorrow, I believe. Uh, but yeah, PUBG and Bomberman on Saturday, not Friday this week. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all very soon here on Platform 32. Mwah!